Hey guys, what's up? My name is Travis Monsod, and of course, you are tuned into my YouTube channel, Travis Monsod. So, we are back with episode number two. Of course, this is part of a series where I teach you or where I show you how I actually DJ. So, in the first video that I showed you, let's do a recap. We basically showed you how to DJ with one source, mainly my USB, on the two players that are actually linked. Okay, so now for episode number two, we will take this link feature that the Pioneer players have and let's expand or let's maximize that link. Now, the link again can be a simple one RJ45 cable running from this to here. But again, we took it a step further and we added a switch. Again, that's the TP-Link 5 port switch where each player is actually hooked up to. So for this second video, I want to show you guys how I take advantage of the ProLink system, of course, from Pioneer DJ. Now the ProLink system again is a feature that Rekordbox has where you can connect the, your players straight to your laptop, but not using a USB cable. What you're gonna be using is another RJ45 cable. That's where the switch comes in okay so again just to recap player one this yellow line is hooked up to one of the ports player two the other yellow line is hooked up to another port and then we will be getting a another cable to connect to our laptop all right guys here is another cable this is the blue cable so you guys don't get confused with what's connected to each other again both yellow cables are hooked up to the players respectively and this blue cable will go to our laptop. Now, my laptop, which I use for my record box, doesn't have an RJ45 slot. So I will be needing a USB-C hub as I will connect that first and connect it to the laptop. Okay, so let's go to the laptop and see what happens in record box software. All right, guys, so here it is again. Here is my record box again in export mode. And right on the lower left, you probably notice a link button as we connected the third cable from the switch to the laptop now let's go press that link button right here and as you can see in the bottom middle both of the players have showed up of course if you have four players you will need again two more rj45 cables with those two players so all four players come out on the bottom but with the setup that we have we only have two players right there so again we have a playlist opened on the left part of record box the playlist tree and all we have to do is simply drag the song into the player now over here we dragged it to the right player and as soon as we press play on the player it will show us a green box noting to us that the player is active. Now, that player is active and once we again load on the other player, it will show us an orange, right? An orange cue noting to us that again, it is ready to be played. Now, of course, once you play the, that first player as you can see both of them have turned green and then once you stop the player on the right the box will now turn orange with the player there let me go press Q right there so now the orange box actually disappeared again if you press Q it will just be a small little Q right there but if you press play the green box appears and if you press the pause it will be orange with an orange box all right so again green for play pause is the orange box and then Q the box disappears but still keeps the Q there with an orange notification all right now of course when you are done with the link all you have to do 
is go back to that box on the lower left and click on the link. Your ProLink connection will be cut off. All right, back to the video. All right, guys, so that was the ProLink feature of record box now again this is how i also dj if my usbs get corrupted i have the option to always of course bring my laptop and of course bring the appropriate cables so that i can maximize the pro link feature of record box again this is comes with the free version of record box i haven't even put record box on performance mode it's just on the simple export mode and again you can take advantage of the pro link using the switch right there now again adding the switch to your setup maximizes the pro link feature for pioneer especially when it comes to the record box software so again to recap deck a or player a deck b player b again is hooked up to the switch right there we have one yellow cable for each player as you can see hooked up to the switch and of course, we added a third RJ45 cable right there. And that goes straight to the laptop running record box. So your laptop now becomes like a big USB where all your songs are actually stored. And then you can have access to all your songs via dragging the song to the respected player on the laptop. Now, if you're finished with the connection, all you have to do is just click on the link again on the bottom left and your pro link will be terminated. And then the next DJ can actually come in with a USB while doing it. Again, you get all the features of the player, the hot cues, the loop function, the slip functions, all are active in the display of your players while using this option. All right, guys, so this is the second way that I DJ. And we'll be coming up with another video where I will be discussing everybody's favorite way of setting up. This is the HID version. Naman. Okay, with the HID, you will be needing a new set of cables. I already have one plugged in right here, but we will discuss that more on the third video coming up. All right, so again, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, Manila. You know what it is. Stay feature-proof. Cheers, guys.